Bonjour mes amis! Today we're gonna talk about which character of SpongeBob SquarePants would be more homophobic in the real world. Are you ready, kids? No! As always, I will not force a topic that is not present in the show. I will actually try to analyze it in a very respectful way. I will avoid giving subjective interpretations. Ben's the first character that I want to analyze is Mr. Krabs. So we know very well that he is actually a very conservative. Um, we know that he supported Donald Trump. In the show, it is clearly stated that he actually participated in the Capitol riot of 2021. Fuck out my way when you see me. So we might be led to think that he's actually very homophobic, but he's not because he believes in homophobia. But first of all, he believes in capitalism. So of course, once you understand that putting some rainbow flags all around his uh, restaurant would bring more clients, he would do that. All the gates of Bikini Bottom will go there. He's actually a fair, a striking good example of honesty. If the gays pay him, they can do whatever they want. He was like a little bit like my father. Like, he didn't love his kid, but he started to, you know, pretend to do so when he understood that he could use his son as a path to reach the very rich math teacher, divorce with my mom and run away with her in Canada. Just joking, we all know that teachers are broke. She was just very hot. Of course, Squiddy won't be homophobic, he's a misunderstood artist, so of course, he would sympathize with the gays being a minority. A lot of critics and of philosophers have actually been discussing about the nature of the relationship between Spongebob and Patrick, but it's so complex that I don't want to dig deeper into it. Some say Spongebob is, is actually asexual and Paige is actually uh, bisexual, but you know, it's very, it's very complicated. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the real homophobe of the show, which is of course Sandy. Sandy comes from Texas, so it's a very conservative place, and we know that not only she's conservative and uh, very, very homophobic, she is the best example of what is known to be a toxic feminist. So of course she allows herself to do everything that uh, should be done by a male in a very binary society, like she fights. <laughs> She's a baddie, she dresses as a fashion phrase, like she's very liberal when it comes to herself, but she do believe in very strict gender roles when it comes to men. She's basically a living uh, double standard. This show is constellated with her quotes that uh, some say are even very inspiring. A man that wishes ass is a man on one date. Men must work full time, women should be allowed to choose if they want to work or not. Dessers are for women and eats real meals. During an episode, actually, she even stops a pride parade. <laughs> Thank you for having watched this video. It was an artistic discussion. We believe in the value of culture. I invite you to subscribe and to see my other videos if you are interested in this very culturated way of living. Bye.